What up, y'all? It's your girl Ariel K, and welcome to Life is Like a River. So it's been a little minute, mm, say about maybe two years, but a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot <laughs> has happened in the past two years. I'm no longer Ariel B, Ariel K. Okay, check it, check it, you know. Girl got married, had a whole nother baby on y'all. Like, it's just been absolutely crazy. So, now that I'm starting to get back in the swing of things and managing being a wife, a mother or two, a dog mom, and working a full time job, I was like, okay, I can start back doing my YouTube and showing nits and tricks of what I do to help my life make easier. You know, something that maybe help you guys, show you how I do my meals, how I cook dinner, do some cooking tutorials, and and just my life in general. So I'm super excited to be back. And so with that, today we are doing Sunday dinner. Um, now mind you, it's 623. And as you can hear, my eighth month old is crying in the background, but Sundays is football day in my house and not just NFL football, but flag football. My husband plays in a flag football league, so Sundays are dedicated to that. So I don't really, you know, start dinner until late in the afternoon, um, depending on what time we get back from flag football. So I'm going to do a quick Sunday dinner that's going to taste like I've been cooking it all day. So stay tuned. All right, let's talk what's on the menu. So we're going to do some fried pork chops, some collard greens, rice and gravy, black eyed peas, cornbread, and then we're going to do a dessert. I haven't decided on which dessert. I'm going to actually let my husband pick the dessert and then we will get to go. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and get started on my collard greens. Because I got frozen collard greens, and you can get them from any store that you prefer. I shop at Food Lion and Publix between the two. I, I kind of lean on, honestly, pub, not Publix, but Food Lion for the discounts of it because of the rewards piece of it. But there are certain things at Publix that I just prefer to buy, and that's my fruit. And then they also have my favorite milk that my husband, uh, excuse me, not my husband and I, but my son and I like, which is the banana milk. So you can get this your regular frozen collard greens. They taste just the same. I promise you they taste just the same because I'm gonna show you how it's gonna taste the same. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is heat your pan. So that way I would say like a medium high heat. And this next part, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take you some like cut up bacon or maybe some smoked turkey, you know, whatever you guys prefer. And I'm just going to put it in the pan and let it render. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in the pan and let that cook up. Alright, now that we got our bacon going, we're going to add in our, and it's going to chop on. And you guys can go already buy these chops at the store. That saves so much time. You don't have to worry about sitting there chopping a bunch of damn onions. And then we're going to do some chopped peppers too. I like to put peppers in my green. Just give it a little extra flavor. And then I'm going to take that and this is going to stir. Let that cook down a little bit. About two minutes. And then we're going to come back and we're going to put in the collard greens. Added the collard greens and mix up everything to it. Now we're gonna add some there we go. Add some Sylvia Soulful Seasoning Salt. Oh that's good right there. I don't know what enough. Perfect. Then we mix that in. There you go, because it's a snail. Smell so good. And yeah. Now, now mix that up. We're gonna pour some water in here. 
You know that? You want to see it? Look at that. You want to see it? Pour some water. Mm -hmm. Got water in there. Then he's going to take some chicken bouillon, whatever kind of chicken bouillon he use, and just pour the chicken, pour some chicken bouillon in there. And mix it up. There it is. Mix that up. And then we're going to let this cook on medium. And it'll be done by the time we can just get done. Boom. Greens are on now. Now we're going to move on to the next piece, which is black eyed peas, which I already got my bacon going in the back of that. So stay tuned. All right, y'all, we are back. So I got the beans going, the collard greens going. I got my fun fatty cupcakes in the oven. I didn't record that because it's very simple. Just follow the instructions on the box. I use Pillsbury Fun Fatty brand. If you want to make it taste like more like a homemade cake, you can use. Um, butter instead of oil and milk instead of water but I just use oil and water because this is a quick thing and I ain't got time to milk, milk no butter so now I'm working on my cornbread so I got one of these regular or regular pans so you don't need to be using all them dishes put some butter in there milk, put it in the oven melt it I'll make it taste good now the cornbread I'm using this honey cornbread I'm gonna make this we left our cornbread sweet in this house. Follow the directions and just look at it. Just pour it in there. Now you're gonna let them make sure that you're using this kind of spatula because you're gonna wanna scrape every last bit of that cornbread out of there. Now you're supposed to cook the cornbread at 375, but my oven is at 325 because of the cupcake, so. That just means it's going to cook a little bit longer than what it would normally do. That's all. And spread that out. And take that. Put that in the sink. Now, it's calling for, let's see here, 15, not 15 minutes, about, about 30 minutes. So I'm going to just do it for like 40 minutes. If anything, when the cupcakes are done, I'll crack up the heat and we'll be good to go. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to do my pork chops. Get that fire in and my rice, since it tastes really quick for rice, and it's going to be really quick with these pork chops too. And we'll be done in no time, so stay tuned. Yeah. All right, so we are back. So I am using this pork seasoned blend. Fry my pork chops Ooh, a mess, I don't know why that's a habit of me just making a mess, but I always make a mess when I'm cooking. Try not to, but for some reason it don't work out. Let's get you a little thing like this, a little container. Now I got my pork chops. My pork chops are thick, as you can see, they're really thick. So what I'm going to do to basically make more is I'm just going to cut it down in the middle, cut these in half. And this is going to essentially cut the frying time in half too. I got to get me some new knives. This knife is just it's not getting the job done like I want it to. Like it's just not cutting it even. They're really old. So that's one. Essentially now two. We're gonna do the same thing with this one. Cut it in half. Okay, this one's coming out a little bit better. And you can butterfly this and like say make it do a baked pork chop or something. Like you would do like a chicken. Right now, 
some of that fat like that. Now when I cook, I always kind of overly cook. And the reason for that is because my husband likes to take what I cook to work. So I try to have enough essentially for him to do safety. And then for Blaze, come on. And for him to have enough to take to work. He's not taking that regular sandwich or he has to stop in the morning and get him something. Don't want that. I ain't gonna lie, I've been slacking with the cooking, but all of that's about to change. So now I'm about to season these bad boys up, dip them into my fry mix, and then drop them in the fry. Alright, I'm back. So now I'm gonna season it. Now with since this flour is already seasoned, I don't want to overly season my meat too much. So I'm just gonna just use some good old garlic powder. I'm gonna get in there good at it. I'm gonna take some of Sylvia's soulful and season of salt, not a lot, because again, it's already salty. And then we're gonna use Sylvia's secret seasoning. Now, this is my Bella, get away from that. Don't go away from yeah. something. Now this is my first time using Sylvia's seasoning, so we're going to see how the flavor comes out with this. I know y'all probably like, damn, she used a lot, but I like my stuff season well. You know, I hate bland seeds. If anything, it's just going to enhance the flavor. Now, typically, what you would like to do is honestly have your meat marinate. If you can have it marinate for an hour, 24 hours is better. But if you, even if it's just a little hour, it will enhance the flavor even more. But since this is essentially like a, a quick meal, last minute, we can't do that. So you got your meat seasoned. Now we're going to just put it in the flour. You're going to want to get it both sides coated really good. And then you're going to take it. It's going to look like this. Does that excess off like that. Okay, because if you don't, you're going to have dumplings in your, in your oil. So I already got my oil preheated on medium high. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to drop it on the fire just like that. Boom. I'm going to go ahead and finish it right here. Now, the trick to perfectly cook meat when you're frying it is you don't you don't want to overcrowd the fryer because then you ain't gonna have room for your meat to actually cook. So you want to because it's only using a simple frying pan. Only do two at a time. And as you can hear, my toddler, from y'all recall last time y'all saw him, he was one. He's now three. And I don't care what they say, twos is not terrible. Like three, it's the terror three. <laughs> the terror three. He has an attitude, y'all. He has a serious attitude. Baby, baby. Can you go sit down for mommy, please? No, daddy. Daddy's not gonna do nothing. Go sit down. If you go sit down, when you get done eating, mommy give you a cupcake, okay? Can you go sit down? Cause mommy don't want this grease to pop on you. Go ahead, go sit down. Go sit down. Hold y'all. All right, we're back, so I got pork chops frying. Mommy. We should be, I'm so done. I'm so done. We are actually done. So when your stuff starts to, yes, Blaze. Okay, when stuff starts to flow, whatever you fry it in, and it has that nice golden brown, how you know it's done. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look I took me a cooking sheet and lined it with some paper towels. 
Tap the top of your cupcake to see mm -hmm. if they farm or not, or you can stick a fork or knife in the middle to see if it comes back clear. If it comes back clear, then it's done. If it doesn't come back clear, then you got a little bit more to go. So let's check one of these cupcakes to see. Clear. So these are done. So let me Mike. grab one of my pot holders here. Okay, Billy, it's fine. Grab one of my pot holders so I don't want to put a hot pan on my countertop. And we're just going to put these over here and let them cool. Okay. Now, I got some left over batter. Maybe enough for like five cupcakes, but I don't think I'm going to use it. This is plenty. Because you got that frying. And now, while those are frying, you actually reopen this back up. Now I lost my damn oven it that quick. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to move the cornbread to the top and put that at the time. Because I'm actually going to crank up the heat to 375 for that cornbread. Yes, yes, yes. So that way yes. it can get done. All right, so we got our pork chop frying, the pie beans going, the rice going, and our black beans are done. Not black beans. Mm -hmm. Black mm -hmm. eyed peas are done. So now all we do is just a finish frying the pork chops and make the cornbread cook, and then we get to go. So I will be back. So pork chops are done, turn that off. Everything, all the sides are done. The main dish is done. Cornbread, just about done. I checked it not too long ago, it's still gooey in the middle. So yeah, so I'll let that cook a little bit longer. So now, my cupcakes been out for a while, they cooled, and I put them in pan just like this. I got what, 12 in total. So I'm gonna show you a little trick that you can do. Now, you can get regular icing. I'm sorry, don't. You can add vanilla to it to basically enhance. But to basically be quiet, ma'am. Be quiet to basically enhance the flavor. But I ran out of vanilla. Forgot to get some from the store. So you're gonna get you a bag like this, and you're just gonna just first of all. Let me just do it like that. Cool. Open your bag and you're gonna move it like this, okay? And you're gonna take your spatula and you're gonna scoop that icing all into that bag. Okay. You wanna make sure you try to get everything. And then I just go like that on my finger. Fingers are clean. Okay. I wash them frequently when I'm cooking. And kind of just scrape it like that. Boom. Put it in there. Put wash my fingers. Alright. Wash my hands. Now I'm just going to go like this and essentially what this is doing is making your own piping bag so i watch a lot of a lot a lot a lot of food network and i because i be trying to learn things y'all i don't want to always have to eat out all the darn time so i want to be able to you know cook my own food so you take you some scissors and cut the corner of your bag off it's a little triangle 
it was gonna be kind of kind of push it a little bit two times like that and then you're just going to go get this first pan and just kind of just go like this and this is a cool neat way to effectively spread like as much icing as you possibly can now I'm not I don't want to put these so you want to decorate it, make it a decorate and make a little fancy fancy you can do that Go like this. I'm just going to do a little swirl on each one enough to where essentially spread it. Two holes on this darn thing. It's not coming out right, but it's alright. It's still gonna make it look nice. You're probably gonna have a good. Who would thought if you want to look fancy, fancy, get a pipe bag? <laughs> a fancy pipe bag. But if you don't, you're just doing something for the kids at home. This is fine. So I'm about to wash my hands and then I will be back. Right, so I am back. So now I'm just gonna kind of just spread the icing just a little bit with a knife, or you got a fancy schmancy spreader that can work too. And you just kind of do it like a little circle. Whoosh, whoosh. I'm sorry, you guys can hear the puppy. We put her up in the kennel because we're getting ready to eat. Do not like her warming around when we are eating because then she will be begging. And that is bad behavior that we don't want to encourage. Yeah. Let's pick them up like this. So you can see what I mean by like spread it in a circle like this. Gives it a nice little foamy look. Like, this would be like cupcakes you made for your kids to take to school. Well, heck, if you want to start making cupcakes for your kids' birthday, like, especially for, like, that first two years, and you no need to spend that money. I learned my lesson. I was that mama. Kind of still am that mama. We're spending money, but, hey, for their first birthday, you ain't got to go all out like that. Cause really that's just for you, not for them. Yeah, it melts it a little bit, but it's okay. So this came with sprinkles, some kind of came with a bit, and we're just gonna just kind of go like this with sprinkles. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Yeah, I promise you these. So freaking cute. They would be perfect for like a first birthday party. Or something fun to do with the kids. Boom. That's all of it. And to give y'all an example, like, look. Oh, ain't it cute? I cannot wait to try it, but I'm not going to try it until after dinner. So now. I'm about to check on a couple of things and go ahead and get some plates started. Stay tuned. And we are done, y'all. Look at that. Don't that look good? And it only took about maybe an hour and 15 just because I had to wait on the cornbread look to cook. 
But yeah, that is pretty much it. Everyone else has been is been served and is now eating. So with that being said, I am going to go ahead and sit my black butt down and eat my food. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. Make sure you click that like button as well. And go follow your girl on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. And stay tuned for more of these videos. Have a good night.